Welcome to the 2021 Autumn Graduation Ceremony. As one of the largest, long-standing and most transformed universities in Sub-Saharan Africa, the University of KwaZulu-Natal is an institution with a proud and rich heritage of academic excellence. In April 2021, the Centre for World Universities Rankings put UKZN in the top 2.5% of universities worldwide placing it at 483 out of 19,788 universities globally. The rankings are based on an assessment of key academic and institutional indicators, including research output, quality of education, alumni employment, as well as citations. Additionally, UKZN was placed 71 globally by 2020 Times Higher Education Young University Rankings, a 15-position advancement since 2019. It is the only African university which features in the top 100 of these rankings which assesses research-intensive universities across all their core missions. The university's annual graduation ceremonies are at the heart of its academic calendar. For graduates, it is their proudest moment, signaling the culmination of a challenging academic journey in which peers, family and friends also join in to share their excitement. Although we are precluded from hosting a traditional physical graduation ceremony, we are elated at the opportunity to gather in a virtual space and celebrate in a new and unconventional way with you. The virtual graduation ceremony will entail the conferring of degrees on graduates who have succeeded in fulfilling their academic requirements and whose names appear on the graduation program. Congratulations, our graduates. You have made us proud. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I constitute this congregation of the University of KwaZulu-Natal. Please be seated. Graduates, parents, and the entire university community, a warm welcome to the University of KwaZulu-Natal's first graduation ceremony in 2021. My name is Professor Brian MacArthur, Acting Deputy Vice-Chancellor of the College of Law and Management Studies. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to this auspicious occasion where we recognize and acknowledge the years of hard work, focus and dedication by our graduates that has culminated in this day. During this autumn graduation ceremony, the College of Law and Management Studies will confer 1,185 undergraduate degrees, 1,069 postgraduate degrees, with 40 of those being conferred to doctoral graduates. I'm proud to say that the university consistently achieves a graduation proportion of 60% and above in terms of female graduates. We are a year into living with the coronavirus which has made us realize how fragile normality is and presented challenges that tested our ability to adapt and innovate. These unprecedented circumstances 
saw the college launch the remote multimodal teaching and learning solution in June 2020 and a streamlined research portfolio adapting to the remote learning mode while continuing to provide leadership and services to the research community. As always, the professional services sector remained the essential backbone for academic activities. The College of Law and Management Studies team has a lot to be proud of in terms of achievements. When the class of 2020 and 2021 started their academic journey, they never imagined that it would be concluded in the midst of the novel coronavirus pandemic. For the first time in UKZN's graduation history last year, our graduation ceremonies were held virtually, as is the case this year. The shift from in-person ceremonies to virtual graduations may be an adjustment, but the tradition of celebrating the milestone remains the same. Allow me to share inspirational stories of the graduating class of 2020. Mr. de Klerk Kwasi Magubani's resilient pursuit of education saw him transform his life from being a street kid to a master of commerce in economics, cum laude graduate. Medical specialists and husband and wife, doctors Naren Maharaj and Jainita Maharaj graduate with their master of law degrees with specialization in medical law and aspire to use the newly acquired knowledge to create awareness and promote social justice in achieving a balance between human rights, intellectual property, and access to medicines. In the spirit of UKZN growing its own timber, it was pleasing to witness five academics in our college being awarded PhDs. Class of 2021, as your families, relatives, friends, colleagues, teachers and mentors gather, be it in person or online, to honour your inspirational journey from being an optimistic undergraduate and postgraduate student with a goal of attaining a qualification to a UKZN graduate. We would be remiss in not also taking the opportunity to acknowledge those who walked this journey alongside you, supporting and cheering you on to the finish line. Thank you all. Once again, graduates, we thank you for trusting UKZN with your future aspirations. As UKZN alumni, we now look to you to transform our society, to be part of the change and solutions needed to develop our country and world for the better. Perhaps many of you have not yet realised that these are historical moments and you, in your own unique way, have made history. We are proud of all the great things you will accomplish as you go out there and inspire greatness. Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, the Executive Management of the University of Wazul Natal, the Student Representative Council, members of the Executive Committee of Convocation, dear parents, graduates, allow me to extend our very warm greetings on behalf of the Executive Committee of Convocation in the University of KwaZulu-Natal. Allow me to extend our heartfelt condolences to the royal family. We take this opportunity to salute the good work by His Majesty the King, whom we all know education was dear to his heart and he was an ambassador in ensuring that education is for everyone and education is fashionable. And we shall continue to strive to ensure that education is fashionable to everyone. We thank you, Shangalom Tlabati, Sitibayete, Wenawendlov. Bazali, dear colleagues, graduates, we take this opportunity to congratulate you on your achievements. And we acknowledge the fact that it has not been an easy year. 2020 has been a difficult year for almost all of us. 
Uh, it has been difficult for lecturers, it has been difficult for students, it has been difficult for management, for council of the university, but we wish to thank you for your perseverance. You have been uh, dear to us. We are hoping that the university has been dear to you as well. We take this opportunity to say congratulations to all of you. You deserve to be where you are today. But one thing that we must all understand and learn to understand is that the journey just begins. As this journey begins, we have one responsibility, and that responsibility is to always uphold the flag of the University of KwaZulu-Natal to the highest order uh, where we can take it. As you graduate today, you must bear it in mind that you are an ambassador of the University of KwaZulu-Natal. In your own corner, in your own space, whatever you do, you must know that it will reflect to the University of KwaZulu-Natal. When you do good, it will reflect to the University of KwaZulu-Natal. If you do bad, it will reflect to the University of KwaZulu-Natal. Therefore, I urge all of you that as you leave the university, those who have completed their master's degree, uh, those who are doing their PhDs, please know that whatever you do, it shall be in the best interest of uplifting the University of KwaZulu-Natal. And I wish to continue urging all of you that go back to your communities, plow back to your communities, uplift your communities, all will be well with time. We know that there is high level of unemployment, but we did not produce you to be employed. We produced you to, pro to employ other people. You have that greater responsibility to go out and work harder. Life is just beginning. With those few words, we wish to say Thank you very much for choosing University of KwaZulu-Natal. We will continue to inspire greatness, and we are grateful that you have chosen this university as your university of choice. May the good Lord protect all of us. I thank you. Revolutionary greetings, graduates of 2021. Today we are pleased to call you all graduate as it has been a journey that is filled with so many challenges and different obstacles which you guys have managed to overcome. This is the day where we expect each and every graduate to celebrate it to its fullest as we have seen how our students throughout there have been working so hard to be where they are today. Along this journey, we have seen a number of our students having sleepless nights in lands and libraries. Being depressed, we have seen them undergoing counseling because of many challenges which they have been facing, which were ranging from family problems, financial problems, and academic matters, which posed a great threat to their studies. Along this journey, we have heard our students that have lost their friends in residence spaces and on campus. Friends whom they have shared quite a significant and great memories with throughout their life in, in varsity. We have lost students that are supposed to be here celebrating with us today because of the pandemic and other related diseases that ended up costing their lives. Some of our students that we have within the university have lost their parents and their guardians. We have forever encouraged them to strive for success and always do better in life. It has been a very long and sad journey for some of our students and we are hoping that the parents, guardians, and students that are supposed to be here are smiling in heaven and looking down upon us and celebrating with us. We as the SRC, we are so proud of each and every graduate that is here. You have managed to strive for success in your studies, even under such difficult conditions that we are subjected to under the pandemic of COVID-19. New ways of studying have been implemented. We have had the transition from contact learning to online learning. On-campus support structures have decreased, and times spent on our campuses and residences were reduced, thus meaning less access to study resources. However, through all of those obstacles and through your determination and enthusiasm, you have shown that you can overcome anything and pursue your right, which is the right to education. Through your hard work and determination, we as the SRC are so proud to also announce 
that you guys have managed to place our university to be ranked as the fourth best university in Africa. And for that, you guys deserve a round of applause. We must also give thanks to our support structures that have always been there for us from, from day one. We must thank our parents and guardians who have supported us and helped us get here today. We must thank our comrades that are situated in different campuses for their assistance that they have rendered to us from day one we entered the institution of higher learning. And lastly, we must thank our community members who have offered their assistance where they could. As we all need to remember that we are community members before we are, being, we are students. Our country is still in the midst of different challenges. We can mention the challenge of inequality, the challenge of poverty, unemployment, gender-based violence, post-graduate funding issues, and free decolonized, well-resourced quality education that students throughout the country have been calling for. However, when a day like today happens, it is indeed a moment of great celebration because there are many of other students outside the UK and community still fighting for access to higher education. However, we have that right and privilege here in UKZN. Hence, that's why we are having such a prestigious event. You are each fortunate to be here, but you have also worked hard to succeed. And doors will open. And when they open, it will be up to each and every one of you guys to decide whether you will trap the opportunity with both hands and fly along with it in order to change your lives and the lives of your parents. As the student body, we often look to graduations as the day that signals the beginning of a new journey and a platform that showers blessing on a cohort of future leaders who will contribute meaningly to the well-being of our country and offer support to our institution where they see fit. As we are all aware that as an institution, we are still undergoing a crisis of funding within the university. So now we are also going to call upon the graduates to also come out in their numbers to come and assist the university in terms of financial side. For us to be able to fund more students who are also going to fulfill their dreams as you guys have done so. Throughout your stay, we have held hands with you to engage with management to create an environment that offers everyone who walks through these doors an equal opportunity. We must acknowledge their efforts and the response to go beyond the education and research mandate and leave the door open for continuous engagement. In our democracy, engagements are very important. It also allows for outcomes that lead to events like the one that we are having today. We stand together today to celebrate you guys. Those after you, we look to you guys to lead. Take the torch of success and make it bend bright so that you use your educational achievements as a tool for change, a tool to make a difference, and a tool that will open doors for you and your families. Your story is a story of inspiration and hope. Given the challenge of the pandemic, poverty, debt, and destruction. We need hope to take us to the other side. Power to each of you for having bent the midnight oil, so you to speak. For some of us, it would have been smooth sailing, and for others, a mountain to climb. But whatever the challenge, all of you have achieved success. Congratulations to each and everyone that is here today on your achievement. It means big things, big opportunities, and doors to be opened. If it wasn't for your hard work, dedication, love for education, and love for the institution, then you guys wouldn't have been here today. But because you have shown your dedication and your love, everything is now starting to flow into place. You are about to go out there, meet new people, be exposed to new environments, be exposed to different coping mechanisms, and we know with all the pressure that you guys have felt here in UKZN, it's the pressure you guys are going to handle even outside. We believe in you guys, we have forever believed in you guys, and even now that we believe that you guys are gonna bring change to the entire country. Therefore, what we are saying is, Aluta Kontaniwa and congratulations. I thank you.
Charles Dickens' historical book set during the 17th century French Revolution, titled A Tale of Two Cities, which Dickens wrote in 1859, the novel opens with the line, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times, it was the age of wisdom, it was the age of foolishness. Although I have cited only a portion of the opening phrase, the phrase points out a major conflict between hatred and oppression, good and evil, light and darkness, and wisdom and folly. Dickens begins this tale with a vision that human prosperity cannot be matched with human despair. He in fact tells about a class war between the rich and the poor. He also tells of a time of despair and suffering on the one hand and joy and hope on the other. I submit that these sentiments which were uttered more than a century and a half ago have as much relevance now as they did then. This, dear graduates, is the world in which you will be practicing your profession as a lawyer. However, based on the excellent education that you received from our School of Law, I am confident that you have the necessary mindset, skills, and fortitude to play a meaningful role in changing people's lives in a positive way. Your law degree has bestowed on you the knowledge and expertise to change human despair into human prosperity, darkness to light and evil into good by the service you will provide as a lawyer and the influence you will bring to the communities in which you live and work. On behalf of all my colleagues in the School of Law, I congratulate you and your family on your wonderful achievement. You have now joined an illustrious group of people practicing a most noble profession. Our wish is for you to have great success and prosperity in your life and your career whilst upholding the high values of the legal profession. I thank you. Esteemed graduates, friends and families of graduates, sponsors, and the broader University of KwaZulu Natal community. Greetings. I'm Professor Mabuto Sibanda, the Dean and Head of School of Accounting, Economics, and Finance. It is that great time of the year in which we celebrate academic achievements despite the challenges facing our country and the world at large. As graduates, you will agree with me that the 2020 academic year was very unique as both students and staff had to navigate through an unfamiliar territory. You, however, showed resilience and determination throughout the period to achieve this milestone. Well done. On behalf of the School of Accounting, Economics and Finance, I would like to congratulate you on your hard-earned achievements. Now you have the world at your feet. It is therefore time for you to go out there and inspire greatness. Those of you who have opted to pursue higher qualifications, I wish you all the best in your studies and look forward to your next graduation. In conclusion, I would like to encourage you to explore further education opportunities to enhance your knowledge and academic standing in the society. Using the words of Alvin Toffler, the illiterate of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read and write, but those who cannot learn, unlearn, and relearn. So esteemed graduates, pursue lifelong learning in order to develop our country and the global community. I hope you will enjoy receiving your hard-earned certificates during this graduation ceremony. Once again, congratulations. I thank you. Dear graduates, I wish you my sincere congratulations on your graduation today. As we continue to traverse the current global COVID-19 pandemic and its related ambivalence, all learning and teaching also continues to encompass 
digital platforms, which have afforded you the opportunity to acquire new knowledge and skills. The synchronous and asynchronous learning modes have enabled you to create simulations of how you will actually manage and organize your activities in the real business world. Indeed, these experiences will enrich your preparation for that business environment. As the Graduate School of Business and Leadership class of 2021, your legacy will also be unique as one distinguished by endurance, flexibility, inner drive and strength of mind. By surfing and gliding the various learning modes and online platforms, you surpassed the hurdles you may have encountered. Now, you have turned aspirations into reality by having reached the finishing line. I am very proud of your well-deserved accomplishment. And on behalf of the Graduate School of Business and Leadership, I wish you all the very best in your future aspirations. Many, many congratulations. On behalf of the School of Management, IT and Governance, I would like to express my warmest uh, congratulations on your well-deserved graduation. Although we would have been happier if you could see you walking across the stage in a typical Invest of KwaZulu Natal graduation style, even this is still profound and we appreciate and excited about your deserved success. Although COVID-19 placed enormous challenges along your way, you showed indescribable resilience, dedication, and agility that you overcame everything. You are graduating at a time when the situation is difficult in view of COVID-19. But as the School of Management, IT, and Governance, we are confident that you put to use all the skills, values, competence, and attitudes that you gained in your programs. As you join the illustrious alumni of the School of Management, IT, and Governance, we wish you well in your world of work, life in general, and further studies. Learning never stops. We wish you you'd continue your further studies here at the university and be good ambassadors of the school and the university. I thank you. I am Trishana Chetty and I am Trevisha Chetty and we are both part of the College of Law and Management Science at UKZN West Film. It's truly an honour to represent UKZN here today. Uh, we both have studied towards the Bachelor of Business Science degree and our honours we did in Finance and majors in Mathematics and Statistics. Uh, walking into this place after I think about two, almost two years, uh, it brought a lot of flashbacks and memories. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just miss my friends around with us. We start off as first years not knowing which room is where to go for our first lecture. I think we also were late for a couple of them. The unsteadiness to which we had to steer our ship during the stormy period has not only made us much stronger, but also much more resilient to future challenges. Given the current situation, having a virtual ceremony instead of the more traditional one does not make our achievements any less esteemed. My sister Trisha and I share common interests and decided to pursue our studies at UKZN in the field of business science. We both have successfully completed our business science degree in honors in finance and majors in mathematics and statistics. UKZN has inspired us in various ways by opening many doors of opportunities, namely scholarship programs, being recipients of the Golden Key Membership Certificate, as well as becoming executive committees members of the society itself. Upon such achievements, it's only befitting to pay gratitude to God, our parents, and to my sister for the unwavering support. 
both Trivisha and I have signed internship contracts with the big fours. I have signed a contract with a big four accounting firm and Trivisha with a big four bank. And we are really looking forward to our journey ahead. Given this platform, we would like to conclude with a quote by Robert Louis Stevenson, who said, Don't, Don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by, by the seeds that you plant. To the graduating class, hats off to each and every one of you for completing your degree. Congratulations.
I confer degrees upon those who have qualified but are not present, and I award diplomas and certificates to those who have qualified but are not present, including those who have qualified posthumously. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I dissolve this congregation of the University of KwaZulu-Natal. Yeah. 